Welcome back to Fox News' special coverage of the Mueller report. Attorney General William Barr has left the Justice Department for the evening without submitting his principal collusion, conclusions about collusion and obstruction to Congress, expected to do it as soon as Sunday afternoon. Joining me now with live reaction, civil rights attorney Harmi Dillon, along with attorney and Democratic strategist Ari Aramesh. Good to see you both. Good to be here. Ari, Hi. is, is this a case where there was interference by the Russians in the election, but not the collusion that folks in your party alleged? And not just folks in my party. A lot of people, a lot of uh, good old conservatives and a lot of libertarians also have uh, very strong questions about whether there was collusion or not. But what is clear is there was interference. What is not clear, and we're still waiting to hear back from Attorney General Barr from the contents of the report is whether there was actually collusion. But let me just give you this. Had uh, Special Counsel Mueller been quiet, uh, had Special Counsel Mueller, let's say, not made a move Mm -hmm. for two years, and all of a sudden on Friday came out and handed out 37 indictments, 37 indictments, Mm -hmm. from the President's National Security Advisor all the way down to uh, campaign manager to foreign policy associate, you name it. Uh, That would be chaos. That would be an earthquake. Yeah. earthquake and there would be mayhem at the White House, at the GOP and on the Hill. So it's not that nothing has happened, but just think about it if instead of sort of this um, yeah. indictments coming out slowly, had it come out all at once, yeah. you know, Ed, that would be chaos. All right, let me get to Harmeet. All right, I think your uh, microphone dropped, so let's let you fix that while I get to Harmeet. Uh, Harmeet, uh, what's your sense about uh, all of this? Because uh, the president, as you heard from David Bossi, they feel like they've been vindicated. Well, certainly the president or his relatives or other people close to him were not indicted while Democrats were uh, saying Adam Schiff on down, Brennan and others saying that they were sure that he was going to be indicted for serious crimes. Uh, Brennan has gone on to say that he's committed treason. Uh, Other things that were claimed by Democrats hysterically throughout this last two years did not happen, like interference by the president in the investigation, like uh, any evidence of any kind of conspiracy. And we haven't seen any of that come out. Mm -hmm. The indictments that have come out are of people who are close to the president who would never have been indicted were they not close to the president. They weren't indicted for collusion. They weren't indicted for any crimes that the Democrats had claimed were going to be uncovered here. And a lot of those indictments are of some Russians who are never going to make their way into the United States. So this was a disgrace from top to bottom. This was a disgrace from top to bottom, Mm -hmm. an abuse of power. Uh, It's going to, I think, end up tracing back to the Obama administration. And no president, Democrat or Republican, should ever have the wheels of justice turned against him like this, as was done in this politicized manner. All right. Democrats, as we noted earlier, have been pushing for a full release of the Mueller report, plus some of the underlying evidence. Mark Morgan, who uh, is a former FBI official, was on Fox earlier explaining why that's not a good idea. And we'll get reaction on the other side. Watch. The statute of the special counsel, you know, it's, it's very different. I brought the star report. So mm-hmm. it's very different than the, than the statute, that, the independent statute. The, you know, when this salacious report came out, 455 pages, remember, Congress let that pass purposefully to prevent that from happening in the future. The current special counsel statute is very limiting purposefully. Ari, your party is saying release the whole report and release evidence even though in this case the president and other top officials have not been indicted, you know full well, based on the law, that you don't release information like that. So shouldn't there be a redacted version that is released? Well, they're not saying uh, release everything that includes classified information. Not of classified course. information, but right. they say some they want evidence. And you There's know going to be some gra- a lot so of that evidence. To give you an example, Ed, just to give you an example, when um, the Hillary Clinton witch hunt was going on, uh, they handed over to Congress 880,000 plus pages of documents for the Hillary email, the Hillary, I'm sorry, the Hillary email uh, bonanza. So you can tell and you can see that there's a lot of underlying evidentiary sort of pieces that have gone into this investigation mm-hmm. that could actually be important. But uh, what's important here to notice is not just the interference part of it, but also the issue of obstruction. Now, yes, I'm a bit disappointed that no one named Kushner or Trump has been indicted, but that, that's not the end of the road. You have your state's attorneys general, and you also have still the Southern District of New York. The, yeah, the Southern you know, District and, is still And it's going to go looking after. At but it. also, but, 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 but Real again, quick. 37 indictments, 37 indictments, and unfortunately... Most I, of those Russians who will never be 
uh, no, actually not brought right, to not, the, not, not, most not, of the, the majority Russians, of the 37 are Russian. GRU, GRU, and, and, but can they you imagine are. if Jim Jones, Obama's national security advisor, right. was convicted and right, now wait, waited sentencing because he talked to Iranians and right. handed... Let I mean, this is, this is what we're dealing with. All right, you've made your point. All right, go ahead, Army. 30 seconds. Look, setting, setting, aside, setting aside the Democrat talking points on this whole thing, I mean, it, it, is, it is absolutely clear that that, you know, the investigation was thorough, it was lengthy, there was over $25 million spent. And Democrats want the Department of Justice to set aside the ground rules that you referred to, um, Ed. We need to have a situation where those rules are followed. But mm -hmm. I, like many other Republicans, would absolutely like to see the report to the extent that it's not, uh, sh should not be redacted by other rules. And I would also like to see some of that underlying evidence uh, to the extent that it's consistent with the DOJ rules. Right. And I would also like to see the attorney general then go investigate the people who perpetrated this whole thing in the first right. place. Harmeet Dillon, Ari Aramesh will be calling on you in the days ahead as well. We appreciate you coming in tonight. Up next.